Okay, it's time to finish this sucker up. What do you say? Um, we're gonna attach the straps, the lining, and then do the loop-de-loop -loop situation with the strap to get the adjustable, the adjustable strap happening. Okay, so first things first, you're gonna take your long little, I don't know what these are called, Y straps at this point, split strap, whatever it is, and you're going to do it to where the little short end is toward the middle right so um it goes like this right sides together right where the short end is taking the innermost notch and the longer end is taking the outermost notch like so and go ahead and pin on the other one Okay, and then on the back, that's where these little guys are going. So the back has notches as well, right here. And these take that. Perfect, all right, now you can base those down if you want. I'm not going to, cause I don't know. I don't feel like I need to. <laughs> I may regret that in a second, but for now, I'm not gonna do it. We're gonna put the lining right side together with the bodice of the dress, unzip the zipper. We are going to open the zipper, and this is deviating from the um, instructions just a little bit, only because I know this trick works. But if you um, sew, along here turn the corner and come around and then turn all of this to the right side or to the inside that'll prevent one little bit of um hand sewing um, you will still have to hand sew this down or stitch in the ditch which you know me i'm gonna try um but that's how you get the the you know this little area encased okay so go ahead and pin that down then you're gonna come around here and everything's gonna match up, right? All your notches are gonna match, side seams, everything. Okay, just turning up the seam allowance on the bottom of the lining so that whenever I turn it you know, to the inside, it's already kind of wanting to do its thing. Okay, now we're just gonna sew around this whole thing. Okay, so I have the bodice or the lining attached. Okay, so now you can kind of see also my zipper. Now that this is all sewn and encased, I can I can cut this off. Um, but I was gonna wait <laughs> until this very moment so that I knew I wouldn't make a mistake and cut it off with the zipper, t zipper pull attached or anything crazy happening. Okay, so now this needs to get trimmed back. through here too okay and now when you turn this you can see that it encases the raw edges of your you know bodice and it's really pretty okay so when you go to zip it it still zips like everything should still work um it's just you know a prettier finish okay so now we need to go under stitch just like we did on the hem we're gonna be sewing repeat after me, the seam allowances to the facing, AKA lining. And on this situation too, as you get to the um, little straps, um, those are all getting pressed to the lining as well. So everything is getting sewn to that lining. And that again, will help reinforce keeping all of this to the inside. Okay, so I'm gonna walk you through next steps on these straps okay so you need to get the one that looks like the number eight. First things first you need i want to show you guys this with as much clarity as possible is this in okay so this strap is right side up okay this gets fed through here under the middle bar i mean sorry under the first bar and then over the middle bar and then down under the first bar. So you're kind of just covering that middle bar, okay? Once this is on, you are going to find 
your back. Now this raw end is gonna get fed through the O-ring. Then it gets looped back underneath this middle bar. Okay, so I'm gonna tape this and kind of try and make a point with it. Okay, so now this has to go back We remove the tape. Okay, so now this gets turned under a quarter of an inch and then this whole thing gets placed, they say about an inch underneath the, the slider. So I could do a little bit. So basically you need an inch and a quarter-ish on this little tail, that way. Boom and boom, got it. Okay, so once you get that, then it gets folded over, folded over that inch, and then you're gonna sew, but you're only going to attach it to the bottom part of this. All right, so yeah, give yourself some space, sew that, and this guy should be done. All right, you guys, that is it. You are gonna repeat that strap process, also obviously on the other side of your dress, and then hand sew your lining down to that empire waist seam and i'll do a big reveal where i model it and everything for you guys um and post that asap but i hope you make the seam work leanne you love it you wear it and you remember our time together fondly <laughs> um but like i said that's going to do it for me for this sew along thanks so much for watching i will see you all very soon